Hello, hello. We are on our 12th week of Strong for Summer. And um, <clears throat> it does feel like summer is somewhat diminishing. Nice and cool in the mornings, weather-wise. And uh, still hot in the afternoons. But um, it's been a fun ride getting through the summer with you all um, doing this program. So um, for today, we are going to be lifting some heavy weights. If you do not have super heavy weights, don't worry about it. You're just going to add to your reps. We're going to do an EMOM format every minute on the minute. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is four rounds of the same exercise. So we'll have um, a minute to get through 12 reps, and then the remainder of the minute we get to break. So the first exercise is going to be squats. I'm going to be using my kettlebells today. If you don't have kettlebells, don't worry about that either. Um, whatever weights, dumbbells that you have or balls or trunks that you fill, whatever it is that you like to use to build weight is super fantastic. So we're going to go with a goblet squat. We're going to just hit up 12 heavy squats. And then we'll get the remainder of the minute to break. And then we're going to hit the squats again. Next up, we'll have deadlifts. Think butt back, back flat. If your low back bothers you, <clears throat> when you are in a deadlift, as you hinge forward, try to um, try widening your feet. Sometimes that will help. And really focus and concentrate on your core. So the more that you can contract deep into your abdomen, get those shoulder blades connected. Think of it more as a core uh, exercise than even for your butt and back, right? And don't go as low. So sometimes if you have the range or if you're able with your low back, you can get super far down and come all the way up flexing those glutes. But if you find that it can get into the low back, just don't go as deep and try taking a wider base of support. So the feet would be wider. You'd hinge forward, belly strong, come up from there. Make sure you get your big butt tuck at the top. Um, we're going to do a high row. So um, I'll use my kettlebell, but I'll show it with a dumbbell. So basically what you're going to do is kind of a high kind of lawnmower stance. So instead of taking our long, low lunge, you're going to stay higher with a split stance. And you're going to kind of get a little, a little bit of a bob here. Meaning instead of just that slow pull, I do, you, you should be heavy enough that you kind of have to take a little, little bob with the body. Kind of sink and then pull. So I want to end that rear shoulder head, the rear delt, into the back. Of course, that's serratus anterior. We'll do the one side, take the rest of the minute to break, and then do the other. <clears throat> All right. Um, if your weights are lighter, um, choose a heavier or a higher rep range. So let's say all you have are fives. No big deal. You know, hit up your squats. Try to get, um, you know, 20, 25 in your minute because you can go a lot faster with lighter weight. So think about, uh, think about that. You don't have to stop at the 12 um, if you don't have the heavy weight selection. Okay, so we'll have our high rows, and then we're going to finish off with an overhead tricep extension. So you'll be holding your weight or kettlebell, whatever you choose, elbows squeezed together, going straight up overhead. Um, if you prefer, you could do a kickback. If you're not able to go up overhead with weight, that's not a problem. You can kick back, or you can lie on the ground and do a skull crusher. So we will have an interim, and it's also what we're going to start out with. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. Come uh, down onto your mat, and let's hit up a downward-facing dog. So spread through those fingertips. Walk your feet back behind you. Drive one heel into the ground and then the other. So walking your dog. Super strong core. Slide those shoulder blades down. I'm going to make sure it's all woken up. Neck relaxed. Okay, so we are going to go through a little um, progression. Um, and this is also going to be our interim between our EMOMs, the different exercises. So some of us will be able to do it this way, and some I'll give you an alternate for. So from your down dog, you're going to hinge forward. Give me a push-up, a tricep drop, right, all the way to the ground. Lift into a Superman. Drive your hands back down. Push up come back. So we're going to do five of those. If you do not do that, you can either just uh, Superman here. 
10 times, or a bird dog would be fantastic. So you go five on one side and five on the other. So that can be your alternate <clears throat> instead of the drop push up and Superman. Um, after that, we're gonna do five TikToks each side. So rotating right hip, left hip, 10 total. After you get that, we're gonna rotate onto a side plank and do a hip dip, five each side. Okay, if you don't do that, then I'm gonna have you do a standing. So you're gonna go a standing crunch, five each side, and then if you'd like to grab weight, you can. You're gonna do five oblique crunches from your standing uh, position each side. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. <clears throat> So we're gonna hit up that downward facing dog, drive those hips back, chest pushes toward the thighs. Bring yourself forward, drop down, inhale, lift, hands drop, push up and return back. There's one, forward, drop, Superman, drop, push up, two, drop, lift, be in control with that core and your back. Drop, lift, push, drive back. Last one, shoulders over wrists, drop, inhale, lift, drop, push up, drive back, down dog. Okay, come down into that TikTok or you're standing for your standing crunch. One, two, four and five come into your side plank drop the hips and lift lots of range five rotate to the other side if you're standing you're doing your oblique crunches just those standing oblique drops three four five <coughs> All right, off to a good start. <clears throat> so squats are first, four rounds, 12 reps. Should feel pretty heavy. Hopefully you're ready to go. Get your bell ready, your weight ready, whatever it is. Bring it up at the chest. We're gonna go 12, ready, set, and go. You're welcome to adjust your weight. I mean your reps, sorry, adjust your reps. <sighs> Depending on how much break you have. If you need more break, less break, drive through those heels, sit the hips back. <sighs> Belly strong. <sighs> 10, two more. <sighs> Belly strong. <sighs> All right. 23 seconds left to break. Feels about right. We may have a little less as our reps develop. Okay, grab your weight. Get ready. Listen for that bell. And go. 12 squats. Grab through that core. You must support the low back. Flex those glutes all the way to the top. Oh, I like it, feels heavy. Upper block flexes. Two more. All right. 23 seconds, sticking with our time. I love how heavy work gets into the heart rate. <laughs> Don't necessarily have to be sprinting or jumping. All right, grab your weight. We have two rounds left. Belly strong, go. 12 squats or whatever reps you chose. Chest tall, 
core strong. Get into your glutes. We're not here for the quads in this exercise. They're supporting. Two left, but we're using those glutes. Ah. 20 seconds break. One set left. Whew. All right. Grab your weight. Get it ready. Set. Go. One. Notice all that's going on. Full stance at the top. Get that booty flex. Last one. All right. 20 seconds. We'll take that break, and then we have our interim. Do you remember? We'll go down dog to super, Superman. I could call it a super dog. It's kind of fun. All right, there's our official time. Hit up your downward facing dog. Drive those hips. Back, forward, drop, lift, tuck, push, drive it back. If you need to come up on your knees, that's fine. Just make sure tailbone stays tucked, belly stays strong. Tuck that tailbone. This is a core set still. Push. Five. Okay. Onto those elbows or you're standing. TikToks. Three, four, five. Do your side hip dips. All right, other side. Three, four, five. Perfect, okay. Grab your weight for deadlifts. I'm gonna use a couple kettlebells, trying to get my weight up. They are two different sizes, so I'll just switch which arm holds which every round. All right, give you a couple more seconds. Get your stuff ready. We're gonna go deadlifts. Remember um, to keep that core strong. Ready, set, go. Butt back, back flat. Flex those glutes to the top. Keep your neck neutral. You should feel upper middle back, core butt and hamstrings. Four more. Really push that butt back. Awesome job. All right, 13 second break. Keeping that core strong, ready, set, and go. Broaden through your chest. Elbows squeeze in next to the rib cage. Six. 
seven. Can you lift your chest any higher by pinching between the shoulder blades? Two more. Twenty four seconds. Hopefully, I counted right. Might have gone faster that time. Okay. Two steps left. Definitely not as tough as a squat for me. Five seconds. <clears throat> Butt back, back flat. Here we go. One, two, three. Soft bend in the knees. Don't hyperextend your knees. <clears throat> the bend will allow you to get your butt back a little further. Belly strong. Keep flat through the back. Three more. All right. 20 seconds. I'm gonna go sideways. If you have any sort of a mirror or glass, something to reflect your image. Here we go, last set. So you can watch your form. I highly recommend doing that. Butt back, back flat, halfway. Stretch through those hamstrings and flex through the butt. That's 12. I'm going to give one more. All right. Weights come down. Let's hit up that child's pose. We'll give ourselves five more seconds. And we're going to go to our down dog. Super. What do we say, super dog? Remember, you can also do just Superman or a bird dog. You get a dog either way. <clears throat> Slide back, forward, drop, lift, press, push back. Forward, belly strong, drop, engage still, lift. Make sure you're in control on that super lift. Here's our three. Squeeze those elbows in when you come down. And when you go up. Here's your five. Come forward, hit up your TikTok or stand up. Your standing crunch, twisted crunch. Three, keep that chest up over your elbows. All right, side plank, hip dips. Four, five. Other side. One, two. Three, four, five. All right, coming up, we're gonna do those high rows, single arm rows. Okay, so we've gotten that lower body taken care of for today. <clears throat> Hitting up that high body, upper body. Okay. Grab that weight. I'm gonna show you really quick. Just a little reminder. So if you hold the bell with the right hand, left leg forward, engage through the, through the back, through the wings, okay? You're gonna kind of sink a little, pull. 
just like that. Should add up, should feel heavy. You should have to use a little bob. Again, if you just have light weights, don't worry about that. Just truck along, engage through that back. And who knows, maybe with light weights, you can go the entire minute. Since this time we're going back and forth, you can hit a minute on the one side, a minute on the other. Okay, get your weight ready, set, and go 12 each side, core strong. Brace on that thigh a bit. We want it in the back. Should be heavy enough that you wouldn't be able to just pull it without using the back. So if you have light weight, focus. You're gonna have to take your brain to the back, right behind the shoulder blade in that wing. Shoulder back and down, 11, 12, 23 seconds. It's kind of our range today. Remember, you can adjust the weight, I mean the reps. Keep saying that, adjust the reps if you want. Hope you're feeling good, I feel stable, I feel strong. It's tough, but 100% doable. I feel healthy, the joints are there. Oh, brace on that leg. Just a hinge, slight hinge. Here's 10, especially on this left side. Got to really focus. Whew. Use that back. All right. Whew. Faster. I think I can hit 15 each side this next round. Or maybe I should go heavier. I'll hit 15. 20 seconds. You can hit a standing cat cow if you'd like. You don't like just doing nothing. Sometimes I struggle to do nothing. That's healthy too though. Okay, get ready, four seconds. Stabilize thigh, that little hinge. Squeeze that elbow toward the ribs. Can you grab the core anymore? I'm gonna go five more. It's nothing in the neck. Two more. Ah, that was good. It's the top of my healthy rep range. Are you still grabbing through the core? Make sure you're supporting to get where you're going. 15 seconds. Let's grab that weight. Slide the shoulder back and down. Stabilize on that thigh. The right hand. Five seconds. Lifted chest, flat back. Go. Focus on the back. Five to go for me. Four, three, get into that back. Two, one. 25 seconds. Sit up that downward facing dog to break. A little interim. I like this interim. Can we go super dog or bird dog? And then the TikToks and hip tips. Get a stretch of those hamstrings. Slide shoulder blades down the back. Here we go. Forward, drop. Lift, drop, press, and back. You can drop onto the knees. Remember, look like this. Knees are there. Then you push up off of them. Here's our three. Watch your neck. Keep the chin tucked. Ah. 
Focus on that core. One more. Grab the core. Tuck the hips. Five. Come forward. Elbows down or stand. Twisting crunch. Standing twisting crunch. Five each side. Here's our two. Drop that hip. Four. Five. Okay, side plank. Open those hips. Drop, press. Two, three, four, five. Open up the other side. Drop, press. One, work for range. Three, four, top leg stays straight. Five. All right. We are at our overhead. Tricep extension or kickbacks or skull crushers. All right, I'm gonna keep trying to use my bell. It's, I think this is 26.4, if that gives you any context, but I'm gonna leave my 35 pound and what is that guy, like 40? eight or something <laughs> out of the equation for these. Okay, 12 triceps, four rounds. Get your weight, get it set up. You can go set stance or split stance. Ready, go. Elbows squeeze in, tailbone tucks down, four. Six, seven, next stays relaxed. Squeeze your elbows toward each other. You should be able to see them just out of the side of your head. 11, 12. All right, be in charge as you pick it up and put it down. So that time I held it, if you are using a kettlebell, the bell was in my thumbs. This time, I think I'm gonna try it this way. So the bell will be on the pinky side. Make sure you have a good grip. Okay, let's get it up there. Three seconds. Ooh, that's gonna be way different. Ooh. One, two. So this direction is way more work on the phase, the down phase. Next day's relaxed. Squeeze the elbows in. Where's your core? Keep it strong. Ah. 11, 12. Whew. So different. A little more on my shoulders, too. I'm going to go back the other way. Next round, 10 seconds. Going back. All right. Here we go. Ready, set. Elbows up. Five. Squeeze those elbows in. Neck relaxed. Nine. Ten. Come on. 11, 12, Whew. grip, good work, good work, <clears throat> stretch it out, I think I'm actually going to grab, I'm going to grab my 20 here. My grip is starting to go a little there, so I'm losing triceps. And I'm just ending up, here we go, more uh, forearms and grip. There we go. Three, four, 
Core tucks in. Here's eight, nine, ten. You're setting the back in. Push through those triceps. Oh. Money. Nice work. Okay, we are going to have one more of our interim set. Hit up that downward facing dog or a child's pose if you'd like. <laughs> and then we'll stretch. Perfect timing. <clears throat> Man, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Drive those hips back. Chest comes forward. Drop. Inhale, Superman. Superhuman. Oh, my word. Okay, I can tell we just did drive. Oh. Woo! Drop it down. Belly strong. Inhale, lift. Okay, I'm using knees. My, my triceps didn't have it last time. Here's our three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Collect. Push it back. Drop it down. Four. Ugh. Too much sway in the low back. To lift my knees. This point, that's good. That means we got those triceps. And back. Come forward. Drop onto the elbows. Or in your standing crunch. Five each side. Tuck it in. Grab a lot. And five. Okay, rotate onto one side. Hip dip. Get set up. Drop and press. Two, three, four, five. Other side. No. Two. Work for your range. Five. All right. Let's hit up a child's pose. Big toes together. Knees nice and wide. Hinge back. Stretch through those upper arms. Rotate your armpits toward the ground. Nice work. All right. Bring your left leg forward. Let that back hip flexor stretch. Hopefully you were able to be challenged by those sets. Concept is that, you know, the heavier your weight is, so the closer that you are to your one rep maximum, with your weight selection, and then you take that percentage of what you want your training weight to be, which for us, it also relates to what you have available, weight-wise, hinge back. Get that hamstring, drop your left hip, pull the chest toward the toe, but the heavier that you are in your weight selection, the longer the break is that you're gonna need which is why if you had lighter weight, as I was saying, you adjust your reps a little heavier, heavier reps, lighter weight, heavier weight, lighter reps. All right, cross that ankle over to the other side of your mat and drop into our pigeon. <clears throat> Twelfth week push week. We're going to try to swing heavy weights. Also get some nice heart rate intensity sessions. Ultimately, everything should feel should feel intense, should feel heavy, but the main goal is to feel like you're totally in charge of the workout, even though it's tough. All the exercises, okay, switch it up so that you can notice all that hard work that you've put in. These past 11 weeks, we're going to go into the fall, strong, healthy, conditioned, and when you feel good, and you feel strong, and you feel energized, it's crazy how 
your food choices hinge back can sometimes, a lot of times, follow along based on that. The last thing I would want right now is a donut. And maybe that's what you do want. And that's okay. It is okay. It is okay if that's what you want. It's what you do with your wants. <laughs> How we address those, right? Pull that chest toward the toe just a little more. Okay, cross that foot over to the other side of your mat. It's how often the wise <laughs> drop that left hip a little bit more to the ground. your emotional energy and your emotional stance is also so much better off when you feel strong, conditioned, and energized. All right, push those hips up, walk your hands back toward your toes. I would also encourage you to keep working hard at not worrying about your size or weight, but focus on your strength, your energy, your emotional status. That's where it's really at and everything else will follow up. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.